Could there be two more different films than Miss Potter and Smoke and Aces? Well, yes. Bambi and Deep Throat. Regardless, the two films, one a biopic about Peter Rabbit author Beatrix Potter, and the other about a bunch of mafia hitmen all trying to kill a Vegas magician, evoked very strong reactions from both Shannon and myself. Cue wacky film effect! Oh, that was pointless. Yeah. So, what do you think of uh, Miss Potter? Miss Potter. Well, I hate to uh, be a spoil sport, mm -hmm. but I have been forever now anyway. I really thought it was a quite a pleasant, nice movie. Really? I really kind of, I just thought it was pleasant and nice and sweet. I did not think you would think that. I fell for it, kind of. Yeah? Yeah, I really did. I just, I was, I mean, it wasn't anything, you know, fantastic over the top or anything mm. like that, but it was just a very pleasant movie. Oh, nice. I know. Nice. That's it. That's the word about it. It's very nice, and it's uh, it's very English, and it's um, and it was great casting and uh, and great performances. I really think they were both good. Ewan McGregor, I thought, was great. Mm -hmm. I really wanted him. You know, I was really quite happy. He's very earnest in this <laughs> film, yeah. and I, I really no, I won't say really. I enjoyed it. Yes, okay. I enjoyed it. I think it's a fair film. <laughs> yeah. Well, I thought it was a complete pile of enjoyable. But no, no, I did enjoy it. Yeah. I did like it. I totally agree with you about Ewan McGregor. I think they, this film, along with most films, get like 10 times better when yeah. he appears on screen. Absolutely right, yeah. Um, yeah. I was expecting something really pitiful, like really bad. Maybe that's why I enjoyed it, yeah. um, to a certain degree, because I was expecting something, oh, it's going to be rubbish. It really is going to be bad. Just like the, Beatrix yes. Potter's Diary, sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, but I, yeah, I really was surprised. I really, really enjoyed it. Well, no, I'm not going to... I can't go down that road, because I didn't no. really, really enjoy it. I just I thought it was quite nice and pleasant. And from the sublime to the ridiculous, yeah. Smoke and Aces. I don't think there's any way this film can get any worse. I think it's... Wow. I think it's a perfectly awful film. I think it's absolutely horrible. Really? Yeah. It is. There's nothing worse ever than this. You said your best, your worst of last year was Phantasma or whatever it was called. Yeah, yeah. Phantasma. I think we've You're got a new kidding winner. me. I think this is absolute. You can't was, hate it that much. This was just offensively bad. This was so bad. Nothing. There was no redeeming quality about this. There was no worth. It was worthless. There was no worth to it. it you was, didn't like Jeremy Piven? No. No. It's terrible. Everything I thought he was funny. It. Oh my god. So the one thing that I did quite enjoy was Joel Edgerton's reveal. I had no idea that was him. It took me a while to pick him. That was he's yeah, great, he isn't it? Oh my god, that was weird. That was really. I didn't think that was. I didn't realize he was in that film at all. Yeah. But, um, oh man. No, I hated. It. I hated this film. There's nothing. Wow. No one will. This film's made for nobody. This, oh, no one think? will enjoy this film. Now, if I was a 14 year old boy, I would. I would still hate it. I think. No, I, I think. I think, I think it's 14 year old boys who love Tarantino and have just eaten a packet of sugar. That's the audience for this film. I don't think anybody will enjoy it. Even those kids. I wasn't crazy about it, but I certainly no. didn't react that strongly. There's no it. one sympathetic. You can't That's sympathize true. with any character. Nah, I'll any agree with them. that. I'll pay that. And it's <laughs> it's just it, it was yeah, it was I mean when we hang shit on the holiday and I'm company minors and all the rest of it, clearly we're not the target audience. Yeah. That's what I think. So we sort of have a bit of a go, you know, and they're still bad. This is just fucking bad. This is just bad. And you are the target audience. Yes, and I probably am the yeah, target no, audience. Yeah, no, I think you yeah, are. This is oh man, I really, really can you tell? I really I can it, sort yeah. of tell. I uh, uh, the big reveal, you know, the big twist, rather. The big twist in this film, um, I picked the moment it was set up in the first five minutes. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, what? The end? I don't the, know. Well, yeah, yeah. Who? Oh, yeah. Everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Um, yeah. I thought the moment they say, isn't it funny that this person, blah, 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 blah. I went, oh, that's, yeah, yeah. Because the last scene, you set up this other thing and they're obviously the same thing. Uh, was it, That was way too obvious, I felt. I don't get the title, Smoke and Aces. But he, from the, him doing... No, no, his name, his, his nickname is Aces. And yeah, they're all smoking. smoking him, like killing him. Huh? Yeah, that's, that's fucking, that's, that's ankle deep, that one. It's yeah. genius. Jason Bateman, I will give a shout out to Jason Bateman. That he was, was good great. casting. He was very good. Love he him. Was good. Yeah, okay, yeah. It's not with, totally without worth. There is yeah. Jason Bateman. I couldn't understand what the fuck was going on anyway. No, it was, yeah, it yeah. was really convoluted. Yeah. And I think... There's so much yeah. going on with the mafia families and different people. Oh, no, it's just... I think with the plot, they want to confuse you. I think that... No, I, no, <laughs> I honestly you. think... Yeah, because I don't think... You're right, it's not an incredibly original plot. And once they all converge on the hotel, there's nothing incredibly original going on. It's just them all trying to get at this guy. Mm. And so I think by talking really quickly over the plot, and this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, you're meant to be confused and like, trying to catch up because... In reality, it's really quite a straightforward plot. I'm not giving him that much credit. 
nowhere near that much credit. I think you don't think he's trying to fool you. No, no, I'm, just, I'm, no, I'm too smart for that. Well, right, um, okay. There wasn't even an explosion in this film. And I mean, you know, I want to, I'm going to dumb it down for everybody. There's lots of gunfights. It's an action film. There's not one explosion. It's I think if he had put an explosion in there, you'd be saying, and then there's just this explosion out of nowhere. You well, know, in the middle true. of this. Yeah, still, he, he can't win. No, he can't win. Okay. That was, uh, but I, yes, I'm longing to see Miss Potter again now. After that, what are the odds that we would be saying smoking aces? Don't bother, Miss Potter. Go see it. True, yeah. Who would have thought? Yeah. Except for me after I saw both. Well, yeah, that's true. And that's all the time we have for you this week. Just kidding. On next week's show, we clumsily separate the fact white from the fiction yoke as we look at true stories Hollywood style. We speak to possibly the most prolific screenwriter in Australian cinema history. And both view and review Will Ferrell in Stranger Than Fiction. Remember to stop by the Bazura Project website for previous episodes, audience polls and cheeky Molotov cocktail recipes. And just a reminder that we'll be appearing at Chadston Shopping Centre this Saturday from midday. So please don't call attention to us because we'll be shoplifting. So until next week. Sign off, catchphrase.